Hey guys, welcome Pattern Traders. Um, I'm recording on a new new software that I got because Doom, uh, Loom, Loom was giving me a lot of lag, audio lag. It was terrible. I couldn't stand it anymore. So just please bear with me if, if this is, it's, it's new to me. So if there's a problem, let me know in the comments and whatnot. So let's, let's, let's talk quickly about BTC. I won't make the video too long. Um, we got the breakdown yesterday. Unfortunately, we did break down lower and uh, let's go to the high time frame i'm gonna make this really really quick so you guys can see what i'm working with i'm still bullish by the way there's nothing bearish about this i know everyone's going crazy but it's 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 nuts if you're bearish on <clears throat> btc right now okay so we had a flag something like this right we had a flag i think it was more on the lines of uh something like uh this yeah <clears throat> flag broke down right unfortunately if you look at it from a lower time frame perspective it did a breakdown retest if i'm not mistaken something along those lines here so look at the, look at it from a three hour perspective uh, we had a flaggy right there uh broke down retested it and then did a leg down okay all right so everybody's bearish we're going lower everyone's calling for forty thousands. i mean yeah it happens all the time but anyway let me explain to you guys why i'm still bullish what i think is going to happen and why i am injecting more fiat in this market okay most importantly, look at your 12 hour, okay? Actually, let's go over, before I talk to you guys about the map that I made, let's go over, let's go over this. Let's go over this real quick. So, I mean, this is pretty evident, right? I'm assuming you guys understand what, what we're working with over here. Let me open up my app real quick so I can buy a little bit more link real quick because link is at a massive discount. Beautiful, 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 linky, linky. Um, this is the time to buy, you know? You can't be buying during green candles. You have to buy during red candles. If you're buying during green candles, then you end up buying the top. So, that being said, my friends, you have to be very careful with where you buy. Oh, I don't even have enough to do that. Yeah, I pretty much went all in um, on this account. Yeah, I gotta bring, I gotta open up my other Binance account. All right, so, um, what am I looking? What am I looking at right now? I'm looking at basically this here. Look at this beautiful art right now that we have. Real quick, we made a. Oof, how do I explain this to you guys? Okay, we made we 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 made a top. We broke out, consolidated, went up, made an all-time high, came back down, retested and, and and swept this low down here, which led to the all-time high originally and it made a massive move up made a new leg up now what are we looking at we're looking at the fact that this higher low over here made the all-time high move that we have that we're currently in right now so let's be honest why is anybody in their right mind bearish where we currently are right now right why 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 we're sitting on this beautiful eight hour order block double bottom Look at the wick that it formed in the four hour, right? Beautiful, beautiful wickies, right? Two hour, beautiful reaction. Now, this cluster led to the breakout, led to all time highs. Why are you bearish? I don't know. I don't know why you're bearish. I don't know. But anyway, I'll talk to you guys about the bearish scenario afterwards. Let's just go over all the details. Okay, this is my map. I did it already so that we don't kill time uh, with the video. Now, rejection, 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 and then death. Now, as you could tell, this beautiful short screen is happening right now, which is amazing. And my lungs are printing money right now. Absolutely lovely, guys. Absolutely lovely. Okay, cool. Now, all you need to tell yourself is, Where do we go? Where did we go? We're, cur we're currently outside Monday low, previous Monday low, and previous Monday high range. Open up your current Monday low, PT range, right? So obviously the current Monday low is this blue line over here, which is very far away. So we did a we did a legit break in structure. Your structure was right here, these wakes. We broke under these structures, under these wakes, sorry. So the structure currently right now in micro is bearish. I can't even lie about that. We did open, tap previous weekly open. We did tap the PVW, which I had bids at. I'll explain to you guys where I have additional bids in case we do happen to go lower, which is, which is definitely possible. But I'll explain to you how I'm playing it so you guys have an idea. Now, <clears throat> you see this? 
All right, beautiful. Let's start from scratch. And I'll tell you guys what I'm doing. All right, so I injected roughly about 60% of my fiat from the bank on, a, on my uh, investment account. And I'm buying as much spot as possible by DCAing. So if I if I if I down cost average my entries, I will eventually within about a week have a decent entry at an average um, because I am anticipating that we're going to go to all time highs within the next month. That is my strategy. Instead of me trying to buy a bottom and keep getting knifed up, if I bought this bottom, I got fucked. If I bought this bottom and it goes lower, I'm going to get fucked. So all I'm doing is basically just adding a little bit as I go. I'll explain to you the strategy in one second. Open up your fib level, go to your daily time. Oh, you can do it on the four hour, it doesn't matter. Grab your higher low. I'm doing this for a few old coins and some majors. So I added a bunch over here. I added a bunch over here. I have more bids down here and I have more bids down here. Now what happens if all these fib levels get fucked and you pretty much lose this level? This is your last order block before the all time highs. If you break this, in my eyes, $47,000 range, you're going a lot lower. You're going sub $43,000. Everyone is trying to tell me that, hey, Mike, we're probably going to go somewhere down here. And I'll explain to you why I think that, right? We're, we're going somewhere down here, which is a valid area to go. It's basically your order block. We all wanted to catch the higher low. And we all, and the higher low ended up being this higher low. We all wanted it to come a little deeper. I'll show you guys. So I'll put on your golden pocket, all right? Look at this beauty right here, right? What the fuck? Get rid of this shit. 65, right? So we all were expecting this to tap, basically go up, come back down, and then go up, and it never came. So then what happened? This ended up catching us. And when, where did we go after that? We went to 64. I think it was a 64 that, that tapped us out, if I'm mistaken. Yeah, the 88, sorry. The 88 tapped us out completely. We literally ran all the fibs. That's a completion to me. All right, that's a completion. Now, on the flip side, you don't really break under, I think it's, I think if I do it with the extension, you don't really break under the, fi the 0.5 with the extensions. What are the extensions? You grab your high, you grab your low, and then you grab your high, your lower high, and you put it over here, right? Boom, get rid of that, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. So, um, you took these two fibs. You could tell, right? Took these two fibs. Let's take off a lot because it's annoying. You, you currently are sitting on the one to one extension. If you're in the Discord, you know that we're all long here. Number one, we're all long. Number two, you know that we, we close our shorts at the one to one extension. You always close your shorts at the one to one extension, or at least close a portion of your shorts at the one to one extension. And most importantly, you take your fib, fib extension, grab it from the, from the low to the top, to the higher low, and find out where your 0 0.5 is. 0.5, I'll explain to you why. That's more confluence. 0 0.5, where's your 0.5? Right there. What does that mean? That means that you literally retraced half of whatever you pumped off your higher low. So more likely than not, that is more than enough to send you back up. You don't really break under the 0.5 if you bear if you're bullish. Okay, so I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt, and I'm going to say that we are going to get a little, a little bit of an extension to the 0 0.32. You know what? Let's be even more honest, because everyone's bearish. Let's go down to the 0 0.236, where potentially you can go make a, a wick down here to take out this low, right? And then go back up. So your max floor is $48,000, period. 48000 which matches my max floor down here, right? 47 with a wick, but you shouldn't get under this specific order block. Grab this order block, put the 0.5, send, send to the right, turn all this nonsense off. There you go. What does that tell you right now? 48.1 with a wick to the max floor. That's how I'm playing this. That is exactly how I'm playing this. There's a reason why this green line is over here. You don't want to ever, you don't want to ever come down here ever again. You don't want to break this green box. You want to stay above this gray. If you want to be a little bit more, um, hey Mike, you know, there's a good chance we go lower. Okay, cool. I'm not going to say we can't. Sure. I'm going to give you the scenario. This way we're all open-minded. Okay, so let's go to your one hour. Now look look at this scenario. What happens if we do this? We go up. 
get rejected, come back down, deviate, and then go up. Meaning this is your low, deviate under the low, and then go back up. That's possible, guys. Very possible. Very, very possible. But anyway, go back to my map. I'm going to explain to you guys what I did. So open up your VWAP. Very important. So you guys can see exactly why these levels held. And if you saw my videos in the past, at the end of the video, I gave everybody the levels where to bid, where I'm bidding rather, okay? These are my two bid levels, bid one. I don't know why this is, you know, just bear with me guys. Bid two, there's a reason why I bid here, right? Go to your six hour, okay. Where do we stop at the bid one? Why do we go there? Well, there's two reasons why I bid there. First reason, what's over there? Untapped. What's done here? Untapped. These two levels will get revisited. Now, is there a in there is there a definite re, uh, um, percentage uh, of chance that we're going to go down to the bid the bid two? No, there isn't. But if we do happen to go down there, I have this whole place taken care of. Open up your high low. Put your weekly open up. Put your weekly open. Put your weekly open. Where's the weekly open, guys? Look, weekly open. Untapped weekly open. Weekly open. Un untapped. Now, let's see where we stopped. Again, guys, it's not rocket science, right? Simple strategy. Where do we stop? There you go. Weekly open and our VWAP. That's beautiful. It's beautiful, guys. It's beautiful. Where's the next level? Right here, down here. Let's find more confluence. What's down there? Close your VWAP. Close your high low. You don't need that. Now you know where those, those levels are. Get your fib retracement up. Down here. Top. Put your 65, 618. Put your 72, 88, 79, and 75. Turn this off. Let's go. Where are we, guys? Where are we, guys? Boom. There you go. We're at the 7.2. 7 oh, the whole move up. Okay, perfect. Extension. Top. Bottom. Top. Where are we, guys? The one to one. Okay, we're at the one to one. Can you see that? One to one extension, fifty one point three. What's under us? Under us is the one point two seven at forty eight thousand, the point seventy nine at forty nine thousand, and then your final fib level is point eighty eight, which is at forty eight twos. So, good chance we do go lower. Right, good chance, but it's better for us. We get cheaper Bitcoin, and I think that if this goes down here, it will reverse. I don't see the reason to come all the way down to forty-five thousand dollars, right? To come all the way down here, I don't see it. If it does happen to come down there, I guess we could prepare ourselves, right? Now, another scenario. Tread line talk. Remember, I told you guys about the tread line. Fuck, if the tread line breaks in the twelve hour, we're screwed. We're screwed. We're dead, right? Spread tread line. Boom, boom. There you go. That's your tread line. Uh oh, we broke under it. Now what? We're in trouble, right? Valid. What happens if we do it this way? So anybody can sit there and draw tread lines, right? But then I realized to myself, we missed and lost the main tread line that had three bot that had three touches. But I'm missing the tread line from the main bottom that that led to the impulse up, the Christmas bottom. So there's a Christmas bottom down here, right? The 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 all time highs bottom. Grab your Elon bottom over here, like that. Turn the log off. Sorry guys, I didn't mean that. Elon bottom over here, or you could do even uh, the candle body, whatever you prefer. And look at these tread lines. We are still intact. We have yet to break. Max floor, $48,000 if we happen to roll down here. 46 if we have to throw it down here 48 we're still good man we're still we're still bullish not worried one bit man not worried one bit now if we start closing under this over here there's gonna be a problem i do not want to close under this this wick very scary if we do so very very scary okay keep that in mind so give you some sauce right now by the way listen to me guys 
I'm gonna explain to you how easy it is to catch this long right now, but I need you to do me one favor before I even <coughs> go into this. Go log on to here. He finally, John finally released the website. It's uh, he made it. He made a, a pretty decent website. I like it. Basically, all the information is over here. Just go on it real quick. Make an account. And the reason why I tell you, just make an account. All you have to do is put your email address in. Register. If the email address is going to be the email is going to get it's going to spit out to you guys. Uh, password login. The reason why I'm telling you to make a uh, make a, an account is because going forward, all the tools that John releases. Like for example, he's releasing some kind of liquidity tool which tells you where the levels are strong and weak for bounces and supports and resistances. Everything will be hubbed and housed on the website. Any kind of videos that I put going forward, not not YouTube videos, like the the the, up, the up, updates for where BTC is going. Any kind of like videos regarding educational order blocks, fib levels, uh, uh, indicators, um, patterns, whatever the case is, all going to be on the website. Make an account, check it out. Beautiful website. He did a very good job, and um, anything ongoing that he releases will be on the website. All you have to do is just log in. That's it. You don't have to buy anything. Done. Okay. Let me show you guys how easy this is. All right. So this is this. Okay. Make sense? Let me get rid of the green. Get rid of the green. Boom. Now, it's the same pattern that's playing out, man. Once this signal line turns black, the pink line turns black, the pink line is turning black. All we got to do right now is cross right, right above it. See how we cross right above it? Once we cross the tread line, which is the blue line, once we cross this blue line, this comes down and we go above it and we cross it, that's your bullish confirmation that trend officially flipped bull. Trend officially flips bull. As soon as we cross the blue line and we go above it, we are officially bullish. But where's the safe long? The safe long is the higher low right so this is your safe long this right there confirmation is this that we're officially bull trending i hope this makes sense this indicator is so amazing for catching bottoms and tops right look at this same thing Confirmation we are officially entering bull territory. Confirmation that we are officially, sorry, confirmation that we're entering bear territory. Confirmation that we, that we are officially bearish was right here once we crossed the tread line, right? They did a blow off top to trap everybody. And then here's your short over under, your retest. And you short this all the way down, come back up, bearish retest. We short it all the way down. And now the tread line, as you could tell, needs to reset. I spoke about this many times to you guys before. If you have a hard time looking at it because there's a lot of different stuff on it, just do this. Short, right? Same thing with over here. Short, right? Same thing with over here. Short, right? Right? Dark green, I'll go fire, long, black confirms that the trend is officially flipping. See how the blue line is starting to go up? You're, bear, you're bullish, comes back down. Now we're, we're bearish. So until this blue line goes, does this, and, to this, and then until the stock goes over and retests it, we are bearish on the micro time frame. Keep that in mind, guys. Keep that in mind, just so you guys can know. Do not flip bull until we get above this blue trend line. Now, another thing I want to show you guys. How I caught all these bottoms, and it's not because I'm good, because I'm just an average trader that has these little visuals that help me catch bottoms. 18 hour, RSX, please open it up real quick. Rectangle, rectangle, put one right there, make this green or blue. Okay, I want you to highlight every single dark green cross, dark green. Dark green, dark green, dark green, dark green, and we have dark green right now. So what happens once we cross and pull up? What happens once we cross and pull up? What happens once we cross and pull up? Right? 
input sock, right? Input sock again, input sock. So I mean, it's a no-brainer move. No-brainer move, right? Easy, easy peasy. All you need to do, turn your 18-hour RSX on, and every single time the RSX comes at that 20 mark down here, punch some longs. Once this curls, it's going to be your long opportunity. Wait until the curls, punch some longs. Let's go to the weekly. How does the weekly look? Still looks like shit. Still curling down. So, uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Still curling down. We're not going to get a massive move up until we get find support and cross over the cross the, the signal line, right? Like for example, you see how we crossed down over here? We went back up. We retested it over here, but we couldn't break above it. We couldn't break through it. We got rejected and came back down. So once we retest the signal line, if we break through it, it's going to be a massive move up. Bare minimum, fifty percent move up, I think. Got give or take. Um. So again. Guys, don't neglect it. 18 hour. It's going it's going to catch the bottom for us. It's going to catch the bottom for us. And um, it's pretty much going to be a massive, beautifully massive move to the top side. Um, let's go to Ethereum. I think Ethereum was over here. Let me see Ethereum, Ethereum, Ethereum. I think this was there. Yeah, here it is, Ethereum. There we go. So let's delete all this nonsense. All right, guys. So... I have a beautiful, oh, I have a beautiful uh, picture ready for you guys for this Ethereum move. I'm currently long Ethereum, and I will long even more if it gets to the 14k range. If it does happen to come down to 14k's, because of right now I am long. Look where it stopped. It stopped at that order block over here. Take your Fib extension, go to the top, go to the bottom, and go to the top. Where did it stop? It literally stopped at the order block, shy of the 618. Right? Take this. Take the log off. Where we stop 1.27 can we can we go a little lower one more leg and basically go up reject and come back down to the 1490s yeah sure we can and take out this low this is the low that led to the impulse up sure without a doubt i have more bids down here if it does that right if it does that otherwise ethereum is very very, very bullish at the current at the current time example the next cycle going up isn't going to be ran by BTC. It's going to be ran by Ethereum. So you want to be more Ethereum based than BTC based, right? Ethereum upside is massive, massive. Um, did I delete the indicators? I did. Yeah. Hope that makes sense. Um, so. Yeah, still over here. So that's how I'm playing BTC, guys. I have a few alts that I'm in right now that I pretty much um, down cost average. For example, Litecoin, this is what I did. I took the Fib extension, Fib, Fib retracement. I went to the daily time frame, and I did this. Bottom, top. You can use this wick if you want, but I used the main low. You could even use the higher low. doesn't matter what you do, but I use the main low. So I bought... A bunch over here at this order block I'm gonna buy a bunch more over here a bunch more over here and a bunch more over here I'm gonna keep at allocating at least give or take about I don't know I did roughly about a hundred over here so roughly about maybe 50 to 75 more this is spot by the way it's not leverage 50 or 75 more over here 50 or 75 more over here and probably like maybe 150 200 at this at this end over here so I'm basically trying to have a massively big Litecoin bag because I think that it's going to easily go to all-time highs. And uh, it's probably a double up from here. And a massively big Ethereum bag. Right? And I'm doing the same thing on this end. There you go. We're at the 0.5 of the whole move. Let's take log off. There you go. Where's the next stop? 1300 if we break this. Which is also the previous support to resistance. Right, if this is if this is basically a structured type of like, you know, but I can't see that yet. I'm I'm bullish. Uh, BTC. I spoke to you guys about my thoughts. I'm deleting everything, and I want you guys to know the bearish scenario, channel downtrend channel. If it 
plays out. Don't neglect it. Let's do something along the lines of this. I'm not gonna make it pretty or perfect, but you know what I'm saying, right? So it is down. It is a down channel. Um, we could easily just do this and just keep going down, and just keep going all the way down and just break. Basically, come back down to the original floor at forty-two, forty-three thousand um, dollars to take out this this liquidity down here. I don't think that's happening. I see no reason why BTC ever goes back under forty-five thousand dollars. I made it very clear to everybody the higher low should hold. If things go according to my plan, the higher low should hold. Um, that's how I'm playing it. I told everybody also in the Discord um, that the TMA bands, for example, the 12 hour, you don't break them. You don't break them unless you're bearish. And I'm, we're, not, I'm not, we're not bearish. Look, from the beginning of time, we have never broken the 12 hour TMA bands ever. So where since the since the breakout of COVID, so where's the twelve hour TMA bands? It is between fifty thousand and forty five point four. We're not breaking that. Let's go to the daily. Where's the daily at? Oh look, we t we tapped the daily TMA band. I wonder why we bounced. I wonder why we bounced. Hello, hello, right? Um, what else did I want to show you guys? Some confluence. Four hour, six hour. And there was something else I wanted to show you guys. Oh, the fifteen minute. Basically, I'm gonna, let me explain to you guys this. This uh, how I'm doing this right now, guys. So, double buy signal on the fifteen minute. We finally got above the fifteen minute TMA band from the time that we broke under it yesterday during uh, London close around there. London close probably yeah. London close knocked us down. We're finally above the fifteen minute TMA band. So now, what's the logical play here? The logical play here is to by the by the retest by the retest guys that's your order block we shouldn't get back under this order block by the retest first sell signal by the way we put the sell signals and the buy signal algorithm in the discord so now everybody gets uh, alerted when every time frame has a signal this way you don't have to watch the charts you don't have to be on the charts as soon as you get um a, a buy or sell signal from any time frame between 15 minutes all the way up to the daily you get alerted then you can go check it out yourself if you like it you enter if you don't you don't enter right it's, it's beautiful um anyway so first first sell signal i'm not too worried about it you could easily do this the the whole idea of how to play the 15 minute buy signals right now we have a double buy signal you want these 15 minute tma bands to start curling up if they start curling up this is going to be a beautiful scalp so what's going to do you're going to have roughly about say three to four beautiful scalp moves obviously not to this extent not this vertical but you know you know what i'm saying right you get your first buy signals you get above the 15 minute time 15 minute mid time uh, mid tma band at that point you buy the retest of the 15 minute tma band and hope that this holds Right then, you have uh, roughly about uh, 24 to 48 hours worth of scalping, where you can keep just bouncing off the 15 minute team man. That's how I play it. Okay. Um, what else I want to you, talk to you guys about? Uh, I did Ethereum. I'm long bias. I did LTC. I'm long bias. BTC. I had one more thing I wanted to show you guys. I think it was. Uh, I'm not gonna make the video too long because I want to make a detailed video later tomorrow. Um, this is the first time I'm using the software, so if it goes well. I'll be able to make a good video tomorrow. Let me see something. I think it was over here. Yeah, it was this. Okay. Here you go. Micro, guys. Micro strategy, okay? 15 minute. So, bro you broke the... You made a low. All right? You made a low. You wicked the low. Watch this. You wicked the low. All right? Took this out. Went out. Created a bear flag. Breaks down. Deviates the low. And yet you're still short in this, right? I get it. I won't argue that because this could, this could easily break down and die. But I'm not short buys right now. I can't short down here. What's the what's the immediate target right now? We're, we're above the VWAP right now. That's beautiful, right? Given the fact that we're above the VWAP, you want to instantly, automatically target this cluster breakdown right there, right? Same thing as what you did over here. You made a low, deviated, high, retest, higher high, died, right? So now this becomes very important to you. Now, what happens? Let's make it very easy for all of us. Come take this high out. This is what I want to see right now. Go back up. Take this high. 
break down right this has to get taken this has to get taken break down I want this to hold when we come retested I want this level to hold then I compound my longs and I target this box at that point then you can flip a scalp short come back down and you want to target at that point the 51k range 51 52 low 52s high 51s relong that and then you want to target up here this will get tapped this will get tapped i'm telling you this is going to get tapped you do not leave these opened see how this got taken by this right and then this wick took this okay well check this out now remember this this is march 25th we're at fifty two thousand dollars i'm guaranteeing you we're going to go to 58.58.8 .58 just remember this conversation we're going to be at 58.8 right um see how this already retested it we don't technically have to go up here you you could but you don't have to go up here you have to go here you have to go here you have to have to have to have to have to go here so let's take a fib let's take a fib extension a fib retracement go like this sorry make extend, extend extend the lines to the right side i don't know why the 75 is uh gold what's going on over here okay so let's make this uh line a different color so you don't get confused let's make this pink pink is the the volume gap where is that that's that is literally literally the order block right before the breakdown so my longs for my swing longs first target is 58.5 58.8 you guys could all call me crazy but we are so going to take this breakdown right now at fifty nine thousand dollars okay so whether this happens in the next 48 to 72 hours or whether this happens in a week i don't have a time duration for this all i know is that whatever long or swing long i open I'm targeting 58 to 59 thousand dollars. That will get filled. Any kind of scalp long I'm opening, I'm targeting 54.9 thousand dollars. That will get filled, right? That will get filled. Um, and if you look at it from a structural perspective, turn all this nonsense off. Look at it. It's very simple, guys. Right? You have a, a mitigation block right here, right? And to you, this might be a. Let me put me this bigger. Hold on. One. Right, and then you have another one. Where, uh, the most important one is this one right here. I'm gonna make this one a different color. Let's make this one uh, yellow. Okay, this is the more important one, this yellow one, um, because this one actually held us down for quite some time. So now you're at you're at this level over here where you consolidate. Basically, you you created a block, went up, consolidated. You never came back to retest it, so you retested it, and then you break over and then you broke right under it so this when you go revisit this area very hard to get above it very hard to get above it only because of the fact that it was previous resistance right um and we spent a lot of time here i think probably a full day yeah full day over here consolidating we went up fake out broke right under it when you retest it it should offer you a good short scalp opportunity come back down retest the top long it first target second target third target fourth target all right i am bullish I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys know that by now. I'm bullish. This is where, this is where, money is made when you buy the blood. I'm not telling you to go buy the blood on leverage. I did not do that. I bought some alts on low leverage, but I didn't buy my alt coins on leverage. I'm telling you guys, I bought majority of my alts on spot, and I will add more on the next leg down because I'm confident we're going to go up. If by some reason, right, by some reason, the whole market shits itself completely and comes all the way down here right i think there's a two there's a two uh yeah two day block right there right right now take your fib put it over here put it over here grab the mid if by some reason the whole market just shits itself and it comes under the 0.5 right and does something like this then we're screwed because then we're gonna end up taking out this taking out this and coming straight for this right here at 39 right so this is your last hurrah as long as this holds from a, a structure of a macro structure first target seventy thousand dollars let me see where the first target's gonna be high low boom 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 
$66,000 is your first target. 72 is your second target. 80, 90. And we're all gonna make a lot of money, guys. I um, I don't wanna make this video too long because I don't even know if this is even working. I might be even talking to myself right now because I'm using new software. So um, hope you guys all enjoyed the video. I'll make an updated detailed video tomorrow as long as I know that this video worked with no lag and they recorded it. And I'll tell you guys where I stand with my investments and why I think that we're gonna go a lot higher. And also to keep in mind that if we do happen to break down, right, if we do happen to break down, you have the tread line to catch you. So stop worrying, stop being a little pansy. This is how millionaires are born. This is how millionaires are made, right? So that's what you're dealing with right now. Um, either boom, boom, sorry guys. There you go. So either boom, boom, or boom, boom. So pick and choose. Either way, it's going up. Enjoy the profits. Uh, see you guys in Discord. Let's see, how do I even close this? I don't even know.